Greetings my friends, welcome back again to my YouTube channel and in today's video I have here a DVD mate. This is a portable DVD player for kids and in this video I'm going to share how to make a correct adapter or ACDC adapter for this unit. Sad to say I bought this one without any adapter and on the back part it has a battery but i don't like a battery because battery is too expensive so i want to make my own ac dc adapter and now let's get started first thing we're gonna do is to check the measurement of your dc jack i'm going to tell you frankly that i don't know the measurement of this one my technique is this, I bring the unit in an electronic shop and I will tell to the sales lady if you have the plug here, appropriate plug for this one, so it is trial and error until I get the exact measurement of the plug. So this is the voltage needed for this unit, 12 volts DC, but they did not specify the current requirement, that is very important. So anyway, let's proceed. This is the polarity outside diameter of your DC plug must be negative. The inner or the center hole of your DC plug must be positive. And these are the specification power supply DC 12 volts. And this is the sign for the DC power consumption 15 watts. So we have now the wattage for this unit and we have the DC 12 volts requirement. Now we can calculate the current. So 15 watts divided by 12 volts DC more or less we have 1.25 amps and that's the minimum requirement for our step down transformer and it's hard to buy a 1.25 amps transformer but we can buy directly 2 amps or 1.5 amps that's the minimum don't go below 1.25 amps for your transformer and now let's start assembling a power supply for this unit This is now my DC plug. The hole is positive. The outer diameter is negative. Now let's check the output voltage. Outer diameter negative. The hole is positive. I have a reading more or less 16.8 volts. We expect that kind of reading because this is unregulated 12 volts DC. And by the way, the circuit, this is full wave rectifier center top and now let's plug this one in the unit i removed the cover so that you can see that there are no batteries inside so i'm going to plug this one then i'm going to place a cd Before I will turn on the power, no battery, only the adapter. Oops. So I'm going to turn this on. Now it's spinning. So that's the sound guys. Now 
Now it's working. Let's try next. So, hope this video helps and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and more interesting videos to come like this one, a tutorial about power supply. And as always, thanks for watching.